This question asks us to find the solution of the initial value problem, and I'm given a second order equation, y double prime minus 4y equals 8e to the 2x, and the initial conditions y of 0 equals 1, and y prime of 0 equals 0. So, to get started on finding this solution, first I want to take a look at the homogeneous solution that is uh, equ equivalent for the system. And that is going to be y double prime minus 4y equals 0. So I can write its characteristic equation, which is r squared minus 4. If I set that equal to 0, I can find its two real roots, which are plus and minus 2. So I know that yc is going to be a linear combination of e to the negative 2x and e to the 2x. Okay, so now I want to find a particular solution. And I can look at the forcing function to do that. So the forcing function is 8e to the 2x. So I know that yp is going to be some constant times e to the 2x. But if I take a look at yc, I see e to the 2x here. So that's a solution to the homogeneous equation. So e to the 2x can't be the particular solution but I can multiply it by x. So I'm going to say yp equals some constant a times x e to the 2x. And I'm going to use undetermined coefficients to solve for exactly what that value of a is. So I want to plug yp into the second order equation, so let's find its first and second derivatives. So its first derivative is a e to the 2x plus 2ax e to the 2x. Now let's find the second derivative. So I've got 2a e to the x plus 2a e to the x plus 4ax e to the 2x. So I can combine terms to get 4a e to the 2x here. So let's go ahead and plug this into the given second order equation. So I get 4a e to the 2x plus 4ax e to the 2x minus 4ax e to the 2x equals 8 e to the 2x. So these two terms are going to cancel out. I'm left with 4a e to the 2x equals 8 e to the 2x. So 4a equals 8, a equals 2. So Now I know that yp equals 2x e to the 2x, and I can use that along with yc to write the general solution for this system. And now, since I'm given initial conditions, y of 0 and y prime of 0, I want to use those to solve for c1 and c2. Let's start by using y of 0. I'm told that it equals 1. Now let's plug in a 0 everywhere I see an x. So this tells me that c1 plus c2 equals 1. I'm going to keep that in mind, and now let's find the first derivative of y so that I can use the second initial condition. So 
So for the first term, I get 2c1e to the 2x. The second term gives me negative 2c2e to the 2x. And the third term gives me 2e to the 2x plus 4xe to the 2x. So let's go and plug in 0. And we're told that y prime of 0 equals 0. So I have Two C one minus two C two plus two equals zero. So negative two equals two C one minus two C two. I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by two. And I can use this to get c1 equals c2 minus 1. And let's compare that with this. I'm going to go and plug in c2 minus c1 for c1 in the top equation. So I get 2c2 minus 1 equals 1, 2c2 equals 2, c2 equals 1. And I know that c1 equals c2 minus 1, and that means c1 just equals 0. So I can plug those in, and I will get the solution y of x. So c1 equals 0 and c2 equals 1. So I have e to the negative 2x plus yp, which was 2x e to the 2x. And this is my answer.